In this video, I will show you how to sell on eBay for beginners step-by-step -step guide to generate sales on eBay. The very first thing you need to do is to register an eBay account. It's very easy, you just need to go to ebay.com or any other eBay domain and click on register. Then you will fill your first, last name, email and password and click on create account. If you want to see full guide on how to register your eBay account on personal or business account, make sure to check our description because we have prepared a full video on how to register your eBay account. Once you have registered your account, you will see this kind of screen. The first thing you need to do to make things easier is to go to your account settings. As you can see my account isn't new so I have already done it. Then scroll down and choose business policies. You have to create your business policies for selling on eBay. Because it might be too complicated and take me too long to explain everything in this video, you can check our description. We have made a full tutorial on how to set up your eBay business policies when starting on eBay. Once you watch that video, if needed, come back here and continue this video. So now you have an eBay account and you have created eBay business policies. The very first thing you need to do after those, you need to click on sell. From here, you can start creating your eBay item that you want to sell on eBay. For starters, you will have only 5 or 10 items that you can list on eBay, so you can't make 100 listing on 1000 listing. With those limits, you have to try to sell that item as soon as possible, so eBay will increase your limits from time to time. The best way to get sale very fast is to sell something used from your home. If you have a video game, movie, some kind of old electronics that you are no longer using, you can sell it on eBay to get things faster. But if you have something to sell like a business, if you have some brand new items or you are manufacture something, you can start typing the product name here so eBay will suggest some categories you should list that item in. I am selling metal signs, so I'm typing metal signs. And eBay are suggesting me some products that fit my keywords metal signs. If you are selling something on wall sale or something that others are selling, you can select those items from over here. But if you are s selling something new that isn't listed on eBay, you select this option continue without selecting a product. We appeared in eBay listing tool and from here you will need to fill every tab detail and pictures and videos and specifications and description and variation and price and everything you need before you can launch an eBay product. The listing starts with pictures so you have to add a pictures and if you want to sell faster on eBay you will need to add multiple pictures. I have prepared pictures for myself and you will see it here so I upload them all and I will explain it a bit. So this bigger picture is always your main picture that will be displayed in eBay search when your client will be looking for your item. So make sure that picture stands out so buyers would like to click on that image. My main image is this one so I have to drag and arrange it to make it main picture. I also made it some other pictures for my metal sign because buyers would like to know more about my product. And I made sure that buyers will get all the necessary information that will need for my products to be displayed in the pictures. Because most of the buyers are not reading the description. So it would be better if all most important information will be displayed in your pictures. I even put the arrow with more info for for buyers to know that there is more information about this product. I displayed size, something about my metal sign, how to hang it and call to action because I want clients to contact me and make customized orders with their pictures, their text, their favorite movie or even a car. This will make me even more sales after the buyer look on my item or if he doesn't like this item perhaps he will contact me and wants something different. If you are selling something that all the time has a different image, make sure that you make a picture in the white background so buyers will clearly see every detail of your image. Make sure to shoot the picture or grab it from the internet from each and every angle. Next, we have the second most important thing in eBay. It's eBay title. And we have 80 characters to fill the eBay title. So we want to optimize it for eBay search. If I am selling movie metal signs, I should put first movie title, it's Pulp Fiction. Then I should go with aluminum metal sign. 
and that's the main keywords for our item but i still have about 50 characters left to fully optimize the ebay search engine so i should think about something more so i can add synonyms to word signed such as plate blackware tablet home decor if someone are looking for a home decor for example I can also put classic movie because Pulp Fiction is a classic movie. So I have fully optimized the title which starts with the movie name because people would probably look for this item because of Pulp Fiction. Then I describe what is the item itself, it's aluminum metal sign. And then I add synonyms and similar words that may probably be searched in eBay search. Next we have subtitle, but as you can see it costs you to use it. I don't recommend to use it for a new seller. If you will find a hot item in the future you can use this option. For now you can skip it, it's totally optional. For the item category, eBay suggested and selected the item category for you. Based on your keywords you have written in the title. If you have already purchased a store, you will see that you can select a store category, but as are your very new seller, you won't see this option at all. Third most important thing is item specifics. And I highly recommend to fill each and every of the item specifics eBay are requesting, because they are also playing a huge role in eBay search. If you haven't selected any of these specifications and your client will select for, for example vintage and retro your item will not be displayed in ebay search so you have to select specifications that ebay recommends you to use if your item doesn't have a brand you should choose unbranded for the type i will lead blackware and for additional you will see that for style ebay made you easier because they show you how many ebay searches there are for particular specifications on ebay for example for team there is 100,000 searches each month so you will have to select team for your product that you are selling if you can't find anything similar in these teams you can add your own in my case it's movies Fill all of these specifications and move on to variations. Variations basically means that you are selling a product that has different size, color, shape or design. I have made a full video on how to create eBay listing with variations. I will leave it in the description, you can check it also. Now you should choose the condition of your item. So usually it's new if you are selling for profit, but if you are selling something that, that are open box or seller refurbished or even used, you should mark it here because once you sold the item, the, the buyer may be not happy when he receives it. So make sure to be as specific as possible. Next, you will have a description. And for the description, my recommendation is that you keep it as simple as possible and make it no longer than 800 characters. The reason for this is because buyers are probably browsing items on eBay on the phones and less than 10% of the buyers may even see your description. So I wouldn't put much effort in here and just simply copy my title, paste it here, make it bold and perhaps write something necessary. I should write something from my images, that is size of my metal sign, material of my metal sign, how to hang it. We can do personalized designs of our metal signs. You can also choose template that you want to use in your eBay description. Click on insert and you will see that I have made a simple description for my metal sign. The only thing I have to change is the title because it was as a template. I changed the title and it's fully optimized now, very simple and mobile friendly. Scrolling down you will see the price of your item. And from here you will have two options, you can sell it as auction style or buy it now style. Auction style means that you are listing your item and buyers can bid on your item and when the time ends, usually in 7 days, the best bidder will win the item, pay for the item and you will ship it. Most of the sellers aren't using auction style, they are using buy it now fixed price because it's way easier and you can better calculate how much you earn. So we choose buy it now and input the price for our item. We input the quantity, make sure to input 1 because you will have low limits so don't you don't want to input 3, 5 or 10 because you don't have enough limits on your eBay, you are new to eBay. And there is one good feature you should use when selling on eBay, it's allow offers. When choosing this option, you are allow your buyers to send you best offer. 
it means that if you are selling this item for $35, one, two, or some of your buyers may send you an offer that they want to purchase this thing for 30 and you can either accept it or make a counter offer and sell it for $33. You can also set the minimum offer amount and auto accept amount, but I don't use it because I want to engage with my customers and try to sell items based on the messages I write to them when making a counter offer or accepting the offer. You can also choose the option don't allow offers and then buyers will not be able to make you on best offer. For the delivery, everything in here will appear from your business policies. At the beginning of this video, I'll told you to watch the video and set up business policies. In business policies, you will find a shipping policy. So when you create a shipping policy for your item, you can select it from over here and that shipping policy will apply to this listing so you don't have to fill it separately. Next you can promote your listings but you don't need it because you're only beginner and your item will probably get sale without a promoted listings. You can add volume pricing if you have three or two or five of the items you can offer a discount to your buyer so they will consider to buy more from you but in this case you don't have a not inventory space to list multiple of items so make it one and don't choose volume pricing at the beginning next what we need to do is to list the item once we have listed the item we can view the listing and see how does it looks like as you can see the main image the second image third fourth and fifth image is everything we choose so our ebay listing are looking decent and if we scroll down we will see a tiny description with all the necessary information for our buyer so how to ship the items you just sold? You have to go to orders, all orders, and you will have two options from here. You can either open your order from here or either purchase shipping label. There are two different options. If you are li living in USA, you can actually purchase the shipping label from eBay, which might be even cheaper than shipping the item yourself. If you are living not in USA and would like to ship your item, you can go to your eBay order and grab the full address from here. You can copy with one click each individually, street, city, zip code and phone number or you can copy full address to clipboard and paste it on your shipping label. Once you have the tracking number, click on the tracking number, input the tracking number and select carrier if needed. After a while when you get some sales and you shipped your orders, usually in one or two weeks go to your seller hub and scroll down to your limits from over here you will see request to list more click on it and you will have an option to verify through customer support if you will need more limits than you have now they usually ask some questions such, such as how many items do you have for sale and what is your source for your items. After you answer all of the questions for them, you will be able to increase your selling limits and sell even more on eBay. Now I am sure you would like to know more about eBay and more detailed guides on how to sell on eBay. Make sure to check our description as we are frequently update the description with more and more new videos about eBay.